Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope you guys are doing really wonderful this morning. And so we will be taking a look at the latest 495L. So it is moving in with all the shower and thunderstorm activity enhancing that flood risk for many islands of the Eastern Caribbean. So we'll be looking at it uh, and we'll also be looking at two more areas for possible development as we're going to be heading into uh, later this week going into next week. And so before I go into details, Please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. And so uh, firstly, we want to start out with the satellite imagery uh, of the Caribbean and surrounding areas. And so there we can see to the north of the eastern Caribbean, there we can see that cluster of lots of showers and thunderstorms. And that is where we have a new disturbance being highlighted, which I discussed in yesterday's update in the evening. And so uh, that disturbance is given a 20% chance of development through the next seven days. So as this makes its way toward the southeastern coast, of the US, we could see some development of it, but conditions should only be marginally conducive, so there's no guarantee. And um, models are not really expecting much from it, so only time will tell. But uh, if it is in close proximity to these states with enough shower and thunderstorm activity, it could enhance the rainfall for parts of the uh, states, so uh, parts of Florida, Georgia, the Carolinas. So if you're there, uh, you want to keep an eye on this disturbance just to see what happens with it. And then as we take a look at the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, we don't see a whole lot happening. In. There is some uh, shower and thunderstorm activity in the vicinity of Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, Cuba, Haiti, right there. Uh, and then as we head over into Central America, it's a little bit further south here. So as we head over into Central America, there isn't a whole lot happening. There's that little blob of some convective activity producing some showers and thunderstorms. Down in the vicinity of Panama, Colombia, there's also some thunderstorm activity there. Things getting quiet as we head to the ABC Islands, but there we see all of that activity those clusters of uh, deep convection over in the Lesser Antilles. And so this is associated with 95L. And so this is resulting in a lot of rainfall across some areas. And just as how we see those uh, new areas of deep convection popping up and uh, growing, that is likely to happen as we head through today. So many areas will receive heavy rainfall at some point. And in, uh, when it is in excess, of course, there can be flooding, which is expected expected and uh, there has been uh, rainfall activity across many areas so that uh, the soil is saturated and having this continuous rainfall as we head through today for some spots can in fact lead to flooding and so guys please take all necessary precautions and stay safe and now we want to go down to northern south america again there we have all that activity near panama uh, colombia we also see some thunderstorms in venezuela guyana and suriname as well all right, so now we want to go ahead and move on to the rainfall maps. And so we're going to be starting out with GFS. Now, as the map becomes more colorful, as we see more of those shades of oranges, reds, burgundies, purples, that is indicating much higher rainfall totals. And this goes out to most of today. So from just looking at this, we can see here that most of that rainfall activity is expected across uh, islands of the Lesser Antilles, especially as we head to uh, Guadeloupe going south or to around St. Lucia, also in including Barbados, we see more of those shadings of reds. And so, as I said, there are going to be times when those new areas of deep convection develop, uh, those new blobs developing and bringing a lot of rainfall. But overall, rainfall is expected across majority of the area. Some substantial rainfall as well might get a little bit decreased as we head to the Virgin Islands, go into the vicinity of Anguilla. But overall, a lot of rainfall is likely across Lesser Antilles. And again, that flood threat remains. And also for the ABC Islands, especially Especially for Curacao and Bonaire, we might see a bit of rainfall in the area. Uh, we saw some of those blobs very close by, so if, uh, if they continue westward and sustain some of that activity, that could bring some rainfall to uh, offset the heat there. So that would be some good news. As we head to Northern South America, some substantial rainfall also likely there. And then as we head up into Central America, seeing that there might be some isolated activity across some areas. Going to the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, also going to Cuba, the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Hispaniola. Uh, similar story, there might be some isolated activity across some areas as we head through today. 
And then as we go on to the Euro map here, we can see that Euro is also expecting those higher rainfall totals heading from parts of Guadeloupe southward to St. Lucia, possibly for some spots in Barbados and Trinidad as well. And then all that substantial rainfall expected across northern South America and Panama as well. As we head into the rest of the Central American territories, some isolated activity similar to for most of the Northern Caribbean with some heavier rainfall in some spots. And so guys, now we want to go ahead and talk about that tropical wave and so models, uh, the ensemble members for the GFS and Euro have been picking up on it. So let's first go on to Euro. And this goes out to the end of Tuesday of next week. And so we can see here that uh, there are a lot of members expecting that we could see some development of that wave. But they show that this would be missing the Caribbean. And then as we go on to the GFS members, here we can see uh, a general westward track at first. And then eventually these members show a northwestward uh, path of this system here and eventually some intensification as well so quite interesting here what the ensemble members are expecting GFS members taking them a bit closer to the Caribbean than the Euro members so this is some time out from now and as such we have to wait and see what the eventual outcome is going to be there's no guarantee that we will see development I mean just look at 95L it was forecast to uh, possibly become a tropical storm and that didn't happen eventually members started to uh, lose confidence and stop showing it becoming something significant out there and we saw less and less of them until here we just have this disturbance here so anything can happen with that tropical wave out there we just have to keep watching it and as usual guys i will be keeping you posted and so that is pretty much it for this update and i hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments i will respond as best and as soon as i can and as always remember to be with wise